How does this play out for me? Of course in Miracles we call it your special function. You have a special function using your skills and abilities that you developed on an, an ego framework but then when you give them over to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will use those same abilities and skills that are already there to unwind you from the self-concept and bless the whole universe. So whatever those skills are. Eric was up talking to Kirsten about that and you were saying there's some creative things and I bet you even have some tech skills that maybe you don't consider so creative. They're more associated with the job, the work. But the Holy Spirit can use whatever's there. The Holy Spirit can use tech skills even. I mean, I, I did not like computers. I remember through, <laughs> through my 10 years of university, I did everything I could to avoid and resist computers. I mean, and that, that's talking, that's going back a few years when they had giant machines in rooms that had these little cards with holes punched in them. I mean, some of you might remember the early, early, early days this is pre-Apple, <laughs> this is way back, you know, MS-DOS and big huge mainframe computers and I, I just was like, I don't want to spend my life around these big machines with a bunch of cards, you know, I, it didn't, I didn't have an attraction there. And then as it went on, I still wasn't, even though computers, technology was like there just to be used, um, I had a bit of an aversion to it. And it's so funny, now decades later, some people call me the tech mystic. <laughs> I, I've got tech thrown on front of the mystic word. <laughs> because I just was willing, you know, I mean, I just, you should have seen me all those days, you know, where um, Jesus is like, I'm using these old-fashioned phones and paying the phone company all this money, and Jesus started talking to me about VoIP. And I'm like, VoIP? What is VoIP? Voice over internet protocol. It's what they use nowadays for s Skype and so many things that we take for granted. And this was many years ago, Jesus is talking to me about VoIP and I'm like, VoIP? That sounds really technical. He's like, yeah, well, you're going to have to start using it because you're going to be communicating with people all over the world and your old phone company bills, your old long distance calls, of hundreds of dollars is not going to work. You need to learn these kind of things. I think I use Vonage. Some of you might remember Vonage was one of the early ones and then he got me into it. And then um, as the years go by, different things would come in. I remember one time he was like, go to YouTube. And I was like, y YouTube? How do you even spell it? Is it U T U B E? Said, no, it's Y O U. T-U-B-E. I said, what's YouTube? Or Laverne, who's down in Mexico, coming to me one day, David, found this thing called Spreaker. I said, Spreaker? Is it Speaker? No, it's Spreaker. <laughs> Spreaker? What is Spreaker? So I'm, they call me a tech mystic, but all I know is I keep getting these things that keep coming to me. Facebook? <laughs> Facebook? What is that? You know, and the, these things come along and they're all part of the plan. They're all to be used, but I'm just innocent and I don't know what they mean. And so that's why when we begin to, the journey on that end of the spectrum, it's more important that we're just open-minded and willing. 